Hi everyone, my name is Francesco Benintende and today I'm going to present you CAMS, a project in collaboration with Royal Bolton Hospital. The project, named Hope Not Arm, was developed by Team 10, composed by me and Danny C. Our project involved creating a cross-platform tablet application to replace the paper-based workbook used during the CAMS session. As a result, the key requirements of the application were to have an intuitive design, the possibility to open web links from within the app, the aspect and the feel of a workbook in terms of navigation system and the sharing capabilities and functionalities, as well as being a cross-platform tablet compatible app. Our approach to the project provided an effective solution for the application, based on the allocation of responsibility for each individual feature. By doing so, we were able to develop a more sustainable and maintainable code, where each component, like email client or web browser, were independent from one another, but still collaborated throughout the app. To achieve this result, the main technology used were front-end technologies, in particular the Ionic 2 framework based on HTML, CSS and TypeScript. But let's see a quick demo. Here we can observe how the navigation system works with the footer buttons. By sliding left to right or tapping on the top left corner, we can reveal the side menu with all the pages of the workbook. From there, we can navigate to whatever page we like. Each page of the workbook has a quick contact button. From there, it's possible to open web links in the device own browser. Finally, each page has a share page button, where it is possible to share via mail the content of the current page. If the page doesn't present any user input fields or the fields are incomplete, a confirmation page will be presented before inserting a valid email and email address. Then the mail app will be opened with the content of the page transposing the mail field. To conclude, the project was an overall success, since all system requirements were implemented, a clean and user-accepted GUI was uh, constructed, and the client gave a positive feedback on the project.